So how does the cancer cells evade the immune system? How can the immune system being so accurate miss these cancer cells in the body and they keep on dividing? There are some tricks the cancer cells use quite often to evade the immune system. Any dividing normal human cell can become cancerous during its entire lifetime. But there is something in the cells that prevents them from becoming cancerous. There are certain checkpoints during cell division that prevents it from happening. And these checkpoints are Firstly, it is contact inhibition. Next is mistake-free DNA replication where DNA replication does not incur major mistakes that leads to mutation. Third is the accurate DNA repair during damage which is essential for proper upkeep of the cell. The next is proper immunological markers on the cell that updates the immune system to differentiate between self and non-self. Then there are some biomarkers released by normal cells that marks them as friendly cells. The human immune system is a very advanced and foolproof system where multiple cells and chemicals are used to prevent the body from getting infected. There is division of labor in the immune system where the immune cells have their roles defined and they are interdependent on each other for proper functioning. The immune system fights against infections and cancer cells but it also protects the normal cells of the body and prevents them from incurring any harm. The human immune system is highly effective mechanism that works against pathogens be it viral or bacterial. So there are some tricks the cancer cells use to evade the immune system. The trick number one the cancer cells use to evade the immune system is that the cells in the body are always active and they are programmed to release some biochemicals while functioning normally to indicate their normal physiology. The biochemicals prevents the cell from undergoing self-destruction because while working abnormally they are designed to self-destruct. Even though the cancer cells are rapidly multiplying abnormal cells, they also release these same biomolecules which prevents them from self-destruction. The immune system can also interact with these biomolecules and when they do so, they think that everything is alright. The immune system does not act on healthy cells and the cells which release these biomolecules are protected from the human immune system. Trick number two is the cancer cells shuts off programmed cell death or self-destruct mode. During each DNA replication, there can be multiple errors in the newly formed DNA. These errors in the DNA replication process are handled by DNA repairs, but if the errors are not corrected, the cells senses that going further may lead to mutations in the cells and hence it undergoes apoptosis or programmed cell death. Apoptosis is a chain of events that leads to self-destruction of a bad cell inside the body. So, whenever a cell detects damaged DNA that cannot be repaired, it triggers programmed cell suicide so as to avoid the damaged DNA to be passed on to the new cells. Cancer cells shuts off this programmed cell death and its checkpoints and all the DNA that is damaged is passed on to the new cells. So, by this process, the cells that were supposed to be destructed are made cancerous and also the cancerous cells can easily make copies of themselves by avoiding the apoptosis and can further multiply indefinitely. The trick number three is that the normal cells are very smart and know when to stop cell division. Whenever two cells touch each other, the cell division stops because the body knows that the area is filled up with cells 
and there is no further space available to accommodate the newly growing cells so the cell division stops this process where neighboring cells inhibit cell division through sensing each other's cell membrane is called as contact inhibition but in cancer cells this essential property of contact inhibition gets disabled and the cell division goes on forever and the cells divide over each other and form clumps these clumps of cancer cells are what are called as tumors the trick number 4 the cancer cells use to evade the immune system is the immune system is designed to hunt down cancer cells specifically and leaves behind the normal cells unharmed and the immune cells can kill the cancer cells but how does the immune system know what to target actually the immune system can target cancer cells because these cells have tumor receptors on them which are detected by special antibodies that work against cancer cells only but whenever these special antibodies reaches near the cancer cells the cancer cells detects these incoming antibodies and automatically hide these tumor receptors from the immune system and they start to behave like normal cells that are devoid of these tumor receptors and these cancer cells are easily able to fool the immune system so these are some of the mechanisms through which the cancer cells are able to evade the human immune system